This video has been about seven months in the making. If you're new to Techno Buffalo and new to the YouTube channel, periodically I'll do the state of the site where I talk about everything we've done right and wrong, share some milestones, and kind of pull back the curtains, let you know what it's like. We can do this because we are independent. We're not owned by anyone, so we can sort of share information. We're not beholden to, to any sort of company. We can share whatever I want to share with you guys. And what I want to share is everything. So let's start with the site. The first thing you'll notice if you go to the site today is that it looks completely different. Uh, and again, one of the points of this video is to talk about what we did right and wrong. And one thing we did wrong was our ads for you know, the past couple years. And to give you some context, we are, again, an independent site. We're not owned by CBS, AOL, Vox, or any other large, even publicly traded company. So that means all the ads that we run, run through an ad network. We don't have the resources to go out and do direct sales. And in those ad networks, uh, sometimes malicious ads will get in. You may have seen some of those weird takeover ads that happen on mobile, horrible things that we never signed off on or wanted, but our hands are sort of tied behind our back because that's the only way that revenue comes into the site is through those ad networks. Uh, we didn't have the ability to sort of turn off certain networks. We had to sort of just go through one by one by one and see if the problem stopped. And we thought we'd isolate it and then it would come back again. And we heard the complaints and we know it was a bad experience. I didn't like the ads on my own website it was really hard for us to find that middle ground between having to make revenue, but also being able to provide a really good experience. Uh, so about seven months ago, we started building what you see right now, which is Techno Buffalo 4.0. It's a fourth version of the site. We started from code zero. Previously, we've been building on older code and just kind of going as we went along. We started from zero and built the site all back up. The first thing you'll notice is that it is crazy fast, way faster than our old site. In fact, it's almost six times faster than our old site. And beyond that, the content on the site loads before the JavaScript before the ads are even gonna load. So you will see content before any ads ever show up on the site. We also now have the ability to pull ads directly out of our stack. If there's a malicious ad or something's wrong, we can pull that out on our own without having to go to somebody else and then wait. We can move things around if the experience isn't good. We took control back of the site. Uh, and my hope is that we found a really good middle ground between having to have ads but also providing you a really good experience where maybe you don't even notice that they are there. That's something that was really important uh, to me, uh, to Sean Ani, who sort of oversaw the revisions of the site and oversaw development. We want a good experience. We know that no site with ads is ever going to be perfect, uh, but I hope that what you see now is better than what we had, and we're going to keep improving. We're gonna keep getting better. We have the ability to add new things. We can move ads around. Again, we can take things out uh, as we need. So. Check out the new website. You'll also notice new logo, new branding. Everything about the site is brand new. I want the site to reflect the way I view the company as professional and as a voice of the consumer. And I'm hoping that from here on out, we can do that for you. So if you haven't gone to the site in a while, because maybe you had a bad experience, I welcome you back to try it. Try it on your phone, try it on your tablet, try it on a desktop. We worked really hard to create a good experience. And know again, that we are independent. So you compare us to larger sites in our space, uh, we're doing the best that we can with the resources that we have without having a huge ad sales team that goes out and direct sales for us. So I really hope that we struck that middle ground cord to find a good experience. Now on the stat side, we actually hit a lot of milestones uh, on the website even before we relaunched the new version. Uh, we finally crossed 3 million uniques per month. So over 3 million people came to the website and we passed a 15 million page views threshold for a month, which are milestones that I really wanted to hit for calendar year 2016. As we move into 2017, my goal is by end of the year is to get us to 4 million uniques and 20 million page views a month. That's sort of, we're all considered the year a success for the website. I'm gonna be branching out into other websites. You'll see sort of new things start to pop up next three or four months. It'll be our first officially sanctioned Techno Buffalo satellite site. I'm really excited about that and hopefully I can share information with you uh, in the next few weeks. So again, thank you guys for, for watching the website. On the video side, you'll see things have changed the past few weeks. We are recommitting to video, to creating a really quality video and product that I am proud to have on the channel every single time. For about four years, we've been putting out four videos per week, and that's been a strenuous schedule for us. Come March, you'll see that start to drop down to one to two videos a week to where you can put up videos when we feel they are done, we feel they are ready, and where the quality and the topic is something that I am proud of and that we are proud to show you. We sort of saw that new trend start to happen the past few weeks. Uh, we saw it with the Tesla Model X one and a half months later, and that's the standard that we're planning on setting for video moving forward. And if you don't feel you've lived up to that standard, let us know. And if you haven't watched our videos in a while, same thing I said at the website, come back. 
watch them. We are trying really hard to be the voice of the consumer. That's something that being independent gives us. It gives us that opportunity to talk about whatever we want, without having to worry about sponsors or board of directors. It's freedom, it's something that I'd love to have. So please come back, watch the videos, give us feedback. We're trying to find new ways to engage. We brought on Jesse Ortiz, I'm pointing at, sort of leading some new social things for us. You see our social channels have gotten way more active. Interact with us, we love to talk to you. We're really trying to push what we can do here at Techno Buffalo. I'm hoping you'll see that on the video and the website. Anything else you guys wanna see or know, let us know in the comments down below. I wanted just to give you guys a real candid view of what's been going on and things we've done right and wrong. I think we've done a lot right, we've also done a lot wrong and you have to sort of recognize where you drop the ball to move forward and to create a better product. That's sort of what I want to do. So long-winded video, I know this is for the people who are dedicated to the channel or maybe you haven't seen us in a while. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of you that are new, thank you for watching. Until next day to the site, I'm John Rich.